Greetings! This is Brent from EpicBattleAxe.com, and I am here today with Tony the Hammer Grice. On uh, uh, we call him the Hammer because he actually loves that song uh, from MC Hammer, Hammer Time. I wish that we had like a really brutal story, but that's the truth. Um, I can even do the dance. I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe. Actually, I mean, go ahead and do it right now. I mean, right. like, just keep the camera on me, but... Well, I mean, it was, that, was, that was pretty... I mean, that, right was, there, I mean, that was, was actually pretty, pretty accurate. Yeah. So anyway, um, we are here today for this. In theory, inside of this box is my Gwyneth new... Gwyneth Paltrow's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> um... In theory, inside this box is my new Ouya game console. Ooh! I say in theory uh, because I haven't actually opened it yet, uh, and hopefully this isn't something my wife ordered, or this is going to turn out to be a really different kind of video. <laughs> but um, we are going to unbox my Ouya, which is actually a really cool thing. I mean, we're going to open right now a brand new video game console. That's not something you get to say every day. Not the latest iteration of an established console, or not the you know the new console from an established company. A brand new company, a brand new console. That's really kind of exciting, and not something that I've done in a good long while. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. Yeah. All right. So with Tony running camera, and me on knife, oh. we are officially. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. Not good at this. <laughs> we are officially going to get started here. All right. Okay. All right. You ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Handle with care now, because the box says to. Yeah, that's what they tell me. Mm. Life is suspiciously sharp. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you scalped anyone lately? Not lately. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay, so it is in fact the Ouya. Well, which is a good start. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yes, this this video is now it's officially is officially hundred percent better. We can continue was. this recording <laughs> as a, as opposed to just you know as opposed to just backing away in revulsion. All right. <laughs> All right. So first off, let's start by um, let's start by talking about the cardboard box that housed it. I think they used a good corrugate. I, I, I like this. Um, I agree. You can you can see good. that. Look at the the fibers are spaced at uh, at one quarter inches, which is right. that, that's that's good quality. That's very good. Listen oh, real quick. Listen. 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 Listen to the disdain. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was about to. I was about to. Say, do you smell something? No. <laughs> I was going to go Ghostbusters on it. Right. Either, yeah, either way would have been. Either better. way would have worked. All right. So here we go. All right. All right. Um, let's just. Set that right there. Oh, sorry. All right, so handsome box. Let's see, is there anything yeah. else on it? Okay, so Ouya, dreamt by gamers, designed in California. Oh, sort of taking okay. a, a page from maybe Apple. Uh, you know, they always sort of have some little signature made in, yeah. made by Apple in California or Cupertino. Put together um, by underpaid children. And that's yeah. true, that's true. Just like your T-shirt. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, whatever, uh, so this is trademark information. Here we've got the uh, serial model number, Ouya A1, or excuse me, Ouya 1. And then we've got all the... Uh, Has that not been already trademarked? I mean, cause, can anybody use the, the number 1 any longer? Is that... You know, that's a good question. I mean, if it, well, Gene Simmons would know the answer, because if anyone owns it, it, it would be him. That's true. That but true. anyway, okay, so handsome box, not very big, which stands mm -hmm. to reason it's not a big console. But... Uh, Nice looking box, clean design, which I really like. So uh, let's go ahead. Body and clear tape used yeah, to on either yeah. side. So let's go ahead and uh, right. let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully, I'm not slicing through any important cables right now. Oh, well, you know there shouldn't be many cables. Really, that's true. Actually, in theory, it's just power and uh, HDMI and so, osmosis. And osmosis. <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming that this is going to be a slide out kind of thing. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right. So there's going to be a reveal involved here. Oh, you ready? Wow. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh wow! You know what? That's that actually worked out really well. What if we had turned upside down? It's so disappointing. <laughs> Just like everything else we've ever produced. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that's what she said. <laughs> All right. So thank you for believing. So that's I. I'm imagining that this is probably something for the backers. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So if it comes with every single. Uh, and the controller is shattered. <laughs> and the controller is broken. In and the, the quarterback box. is toast. <laughs> All right, so uh, well, right. you know, but this this is this is hey hey you know. All right, let's see. Well, I guess you didn't believe enough. How much did you donate uh, to get there? Actually, that's the way it's supposed to. That's uh, comes off so that you can put the batteries in. Yeah, I guess that's true. So and that's, it's, that and it's magnetic, uh, from what I've read. Yeah, so I've I've read that as well. So yeah, it probably just pops on there. All right. Well, anyway, so let's just investigate this card and see if there's anything else. No. Nope. All right, all right. Although this 
is actually on good quality. Like, if, if you notice, this is actually not paper. That, yeah, it's not. This is actually a, uh, I guess it's a, a plastic. Some it sort it of is polymer. some sort of, yeah, some sort of polymer. I think we had a... As a matter of fact, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like something you could, like, stick in a light. That's true. Like like you're doing now. That's right. That's Thank very you true. For believing. You're welcome, Ouya. We should... Thank you for offering me an alternative. <laughs> All right, well, I guess let's, um, what, what do you think? Start with controller or the uh, the box? Um... Gosh, I'll, I'll be honest. I think start with the box. I mean, that's that's the core of the you know kind of the experience. I don't know. Let's see. So there it is. It's uh, as you can see, it's not big. It's got a little heft to it. I mean, it feels like it weighs you know. I mean, it's under a pound. Yeah. I don't know how many ounces. You know, maybe eight, nine, mm -hmm. something like that. I'm just guessing. I've got a kitchen scale. I could go. I could we'll go find that, out. But I, I think we're. So think here, we're good. here we have. I'm guessing that you know these are people who paid for like the the, the most top tier oh. on. Uh, on Kickstarter, they've got their name etched into the side. You can see up there is Notch. I can see, um, I, I'm not going to read all these. Yoda 1, Handy Games, Head Up Games, Face It, Narkid. Actually, I'm almost is, reading them all. That is right. true, yeah. And then uh, GameFans.com. Well, th this kind of brings up, I think, I think, sort of an interesting question. Do you think, um, will the Xbox One have Daniel's name on it? Oh, that will is they, a good question. Will they do something like that? Or? You know, considering all the support he's given them over the years, I, you know, I sort of um, think it's. Uh, I think it's only right. Uh, yeah, that's. I really do. All right, all right, all right. So anyway, um, so that's the Ouya. Uh, relatively small. I was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think people have described it as about the size of an apple, which I think is very apt. Um, or yeah, another Ouya console. That's true. It's about the size of an Ouya console, in case you uh, in case you were wondering. For a point of reference. So here's all the I/O ports on the back. I see we've got uh, Ethernet power, HDMI. That looks like uh, that looks like standard USB, and that might be is it mini or I think micro it's USB. Micro, I believe. Micro USB. I can't that's what it looks camera, like. But yeah. I can't tell for sure. But anyway, that's that's what it appears to be. Mm -hmm. uh, on the bottom, we've got uh, some rubber feet here that uh, should keep it from sliding around. Nice, nice. nice. Um, this is all, if you can't tell, this is all sort of, uh, I guess this is aluminum. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so... Aluminium, I believe that's Aluminium. Uh, should we peel these off? Let's go ahead and... I think we should. Let's go ahead and do that. Mm, yeah. So there's the power button. That surface is just dying for your fingerprints. Yeah. It is, it is lusting after them ready. That might have been one of the... You might not should have pulled that off. In, uh, in hindsight. In hindsight. All right, let's, let's see. I've got a, a couple more of these. I just need to pull off the bottom here. All righty, so now we officially have that. It's really, it's really small, and I Fair see that there's some, yeah, there's some venting around the bottom there. Good. Honestly, yeah, really, that is not, that is, I mean, you know, it feels substantial, you know, it doesn't feel, yeah, it doesn't feel by any means, by way. any means, yeah, but it, it, but it really is very light. In the same way, like, when you pick up an Apple TV... It's a little bit heavier than what you expect. Yeah, but it's got like that I'm, kind of feeling of quality. As opposed, I'm to not so sure that that is much different from the weight of an Apple TV. Well, is it? You know, roughly, well, maybe maybe, God, a, maybe a hair. As opposed to like the Roku, like you know, like the Roku. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I love my Roku. It's a great box, but I mean, it, it's, it's it's got that plastic kind of like yeah lightweight. I could throw this thing across the room and waste a hundred dollars really easy. Yeah. Um, but that feels pretty good. Okay, okay. so all right, so let's talk about the controller because I, I mean that's that's a big, big arguably the most important. I mean, like that piece you have to have, but this is really what I think is going to make the experience different from absolutely. You know what we've had before in terms of okay. this, this kind of the D pad mm -hmm. feels interesting. Um, <laughs> it's I'm that a good way to describe it. Well, I mean that's the thing. It kind of it doesn't feel like the Xbox Game Pad. Okay, it feels more like so it's decent. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's got quite... I, I'd want to like have my Super NES pad, because I mm -hmm. think that's probably my favorite controller of all time, just about. Yeah, I, I'm probably um, with you. Analog sticks are a little bit more like the PS... Well... A little, little lighter to the, to, to the, you know, or not well, as stiff. I, yeah, obviously they've got the mushroom tops like the PS3 does, but they do have more resistance than the PS3. They're probably, they, they are probably more like the 360. I'll tell you what, let me go get those... Let me go get my two pads real fast. All right. Here, real quick. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of a D-pad? Uh, it, I gotta be honest. I do prefer a little more. I don't want to say click, click, click. Yeah, like yeah. And it's not even so much a click, like like an like an audible click, but just, but just a some, a more some sort of response, some yeah. sort of tactile response. Like that is one thing I actually kind of always preferred. That the the one thing I, I've always felt like the PS3, even though the broken. I know a lot of people don't like the actual breaking up of, but the actual like. Uh, yeah, I sort of feel the, like the PS3 has a great D-pad. You cannot deny that. 
This feels like pushing molasses. It is it's to terrible. one side or another. It's, it's fucking yeah. terrible. Although, it's not, it's not to their bad. credit, it looks like they maybe corrected that on the Xbox One. I actually think it looks like the Xbox One. But anyway, maybe. I I, th- I think they've fixed it. Maybe. I okay. So, so anyway, let's let's. Ooh, you know what? That's a little bit lighter than I thought it was going to be. Although that could just be where it's brand new and it's a little bit more it, stiff. Well, and as I say, this is broken in more. I actually think that that does feel almost exactly like the Xbox one when when it's new. Yeah. Like when an Xbox controller is new. That's true. So anyway, I'd say that's probably a little bit more like the, uh, Rotate the Xbox Rotate the joysticks a little more. All right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, um... Buttons have a nice. Did, did you did you press these? I didn't know. I didn't. Buttons have a nice solid yet. feel. They've, they they, they've they've got like a really that. nice firm click to them. I'll say that in terms of holding the controller in my hand, I absolutely love it. Um, as you can yep. see, like my my fingers have plenty of room to no uh, to rest down here. On the back side, there's a lot to grip onto. This is this is pretty. This is a pretty hefty and substantial size. Yeah. The shape is really good. I mean, it just it fits in your hand exactly the way that you want it to. And this is always the thing, you know, like. I, I tell people this. I love this controller. In terms of design, I love this controller. This controller is a great, great work of design. It's beautiful to look at. I love its symmetry. It is just not very functional. Um, it's it's way too small to hold. You know, like my, my, my pinkies and almost my bottom fingers have nowhere to go. I don't feel that I can hang on to this thing and, like, you know, operate the triggers with all four fingers like I would want to. Yeah. It's just too small for my hand, and that's why I really do like the Xbox controller. I like the way it flares out. It feels great in my hand. I can use all the fingers on the uh, the shoulder pads, no problem. And this, I have to say, I feel it's really, sort of, I feel really good about. It. As a matter of fact, I have to say that just a, sitting here like this, just a rough sort of estimate of feeling like the Xbox controller. Right? It feels more like it, but I have to say that I mean, I actually do kind of like this more. Like just hmm. this right here, this feels much more natural than even this does. Well, look. Let me ask you because here's so it's a little bit bigger than this. I mean, if you if you yeah. look at them side by side, you can see that there's there's more of these flanges. There's a lot more of these flanges you to grip to onto. On there, just, just a little more. Yeah. yeah. So the the, the grips are definitely more substantial. You know, down near the the bottom, which I do like. Well, so um, so I think you know probably the, the one of the biggest features. Well, and actually, how are the triggers? Um, Let's see. I haven't. They've got things mm-hmm. on too. I don't know if that changes it. If you want to take the tape off, there, yeah. Or let's the, uh, let's, let's do that. Sometimes that can affect the feel. All right, hold on. Well, it's coming off in bits and bits and pieces now. Get that. And uh, while he's doing, I'm gonna take a break to uh, give a shout out to Catsy's baking powder. Catsy's, we want you to bake with our baking powder. All right, back to Brent. <laughs> and how you doing, Chewbacca? You you all right over there? Mm. If you go to sleep in that box, I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to ship you to Siberia. Whatever, I'm a cat. I'll be fine with it. <laughs> That's right. Feels like my homeland. <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess let me take the. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let me take the uh, the plastic off the D pad. There's also plastic on this. I think it's Is that the right. IR? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. Oh, so that nice is an absolutely huge okay. finger magnet. It is. It is. Don't ever touch it. All right. So let's. Uh, I mean, let's controllers aren't made for touching. And then you got. I guess this is also the what the sort of the uh, home. Yeah, I'm assuming that that's like the power button, home yeah. button. We'll find out soon. Uh-huh. All right. So the triggers are fingerprint magnets. Um, they've got a lot of throw. I mean, more so like the 360 controller, where uh, there's definitely some throw in the in the triggers. You know, the the, uh, the, bu- the bumpers are exactly what you'd expect. Okay. Um, let me just do this. I'd say there's more resistance. It, it feels to me like there's more resistance in these mm-hmm. than there are in the 360 controllers. Um, I don't know about the width. I mean, as you can see, it's substantially wider yeah. than the 360 triggers. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing or not. I mean, I I just don't know. Like, I'll have to kind of play with it. One it's thing just I, different. One thing, well, you know, let, let's move on to, the, I think, the, the one, the key, the big feature, the, the reason for getting... This pad versus, uh, from what I understand, you can use either of these controllers with the console. Okay, that's what I, I was just reading uh, earlier. Which, I, to be honest with you, I don't think it, I thought that was like a thing they were at, they were going to add maybe at some point. But right. I, from what I understand, it it's already functional. So you know, a lot of people might just get the console minus the controller. But the big selling point is 
the the touch the the touch pad or however you want to refer to it or what is it referred to as? I don't know. That's a great the, question. The, the uh, fingering area. The fingering area. Right? Is that not, we don't refer to it as that? Let's let's not call it that just okay. in case. Well, I thought it sounded kind of. But weird. anyway, um, so let's see. Uh, obviously, this was already off when we got the stupid thing, so yeah. it should be easy to get off again. <laughs> and it's harder to get off now, oddly enough. It's strange. Okay, so. I guess uh, two so, double A's, I believe, right? Right. Do, does one go in each grip? Should yes. It, should yeah. the other grip come off as well? It does. Yeah. All right. So I fixed that. And then I watched a lesser <laughs> unboxing video earlier to get to get uh, get to get some uh, some there additional insight. All right. So that's all well and good. So if you like, if you're into kind of steampunk that's, look of things too, you can just take those off. Kind of... I imagine that the, the accessibility to this is going to make these hack friendly. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there'll be some people messing with them. So overall. Uh, the controller feels good. I, I'm, I'm kind of a little, I'm a little curious about how these are going to feel in, in practical use. The thing that's interesting is how the, the Xbox triggers feel very smooth and they're very quiet. And good, like you, smooth trend, uh, uh, yeah, smooth travel. Travel, thank you. These are not as smooth in the travel. Okay. And you can hear, like if you listen closely... Yeah, it kind of doesn't. It sounds. You can hear like I don't know if it, I don't know if it's like some sort of like you know gear mechanism or whatever uh, whatever is providing the resistance for that trigger. You can hear that working, and um, I don't think that it, it doesn't to me feel quite as smooth and solid as the 360 triggers, which are really good. Like that's yeah, probably kind of the, the that, that would benchmark. probably be my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Um, but the sticks have plenty of resistance, which is good. I personally don't mind the the mushroom head thing. I mean, you know, uh, people talk about that like, you know, it's like, oh, like I was playing Call of Duty and I missed getting like the, you know, number one player in the world spot of all time because my thumb slipped off the mushroom head PS3 <laughs> controller. I don't think it's quite that critical personally. But um, anyway, so that is the control. I don't know if it's coming across on video, but the thing that I'm discovering now is that, you know how in Back to the Future, you know how the DeLorean in certain lights has like an almost sort of like purple sheen. Yeah, you can to it. I think you can actually see it better in the video. Like when I was looking here, I almost thought the console looked purple. Like yeah. like a, the color is is coming off slightly different. On the but camera. anyway, so that that is kind of interesting. Yeah. But it, you know, in a lot of the pictures it looks like just sort of straight up aluminum and it's it's definitely got a bit of color in the sheen which is which is kind of cool. I mean, it's just different. Yeah. Um all right, so let's see what else is in the box. <clears throat> What are these four little sort of things? Buttons? Is that light? Is that just lights? Will those light up? Yeah, I I'm presuming that that, that, that is going to be like the, you know, to show right. you like which controller is the number one. Oh, okay. So so, yeah, I didn't even think about that. But I guess it is. Right. So, what else we got? Pretty simple. We got some AA batteries for the controller. Yeah, yeah. We got an HDMI cable, and we now, got the. Those are Duracells, uh, right? So those are Duracells. Cool. That's, good. that's good quality. That's not, what you uh, want. not stupid rabbit batteries. All right, so here is the AC adapter. Pretty simple. As a matter of fact, this is probably, I own an AC adapter almost identical to this for an external hard drive. Yeah. And I would be willing to bet you that this is just, you know, like a stock AC adapter that they've built it around to save costs, which, it, you know, makes sense. It's like, it's like a fourth the size of the console. Which is <laughs> that's true. I mean... But you know, actually, and that's one thing that people don't really take into account. I mean, like, yeah. like one of the one of the most interesting examples of that is the 360 and the PlayStation 3. Yeah. The the 360 adapter is like this size. It's gigantic. I and think there's one reason why, like the the early PS3s were were ginormous because they just had a standard had power. Yeah. You know, uh, let's this. I'm sure this HDMI cable is nothing to write home about. Um, I beg to differ. Let's see here. I was wrong. It is nothing to write home about. Actually. Yeah, I mean, like honestly, that looks like the HDMI cables that my Direct TV guy gave me for free, like when he installed. It's, it, but it so does. It is official because it does say. That's right. It's it's HDMI. Yeah, that's great. All right. All right. So let's look at the. Uh, we've got a little bit of a manual here. Excuse yeah. me. I just need to refresh myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you What are you drinking there? I mean, I'm drinking. Drink, uh, this, is, uh, this is a New Belgium. Snow Day Winter Ale. All right. Uh, that's from I, I guess I think it's the same brewery as Fat Shots time. of Play-Doh. That's all right. right. Um, all right. Industry Canada statement. This this can we, console can we, can came we, to the wrong country. Can we legally show this? I mean, is it like will this be like? It's a great question. Breaking I don't know. some sort of uh, copyright law. So here we go. There's this Federal Communication Commitments Interference Statement. So far, this is pretty boring. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, Czech, yeah, Danish, yeah. German, Greek, Francois, Italian, Polish, There's like eight, Hungarian. Hmm. Eight pages of nothing, and then it's like plug it in. Turn Important it. safety instructions, and I shit you not, and I shit you not as I read from this. And lo, <laughs> important safety instructions. Number one, read these instructions. Oh, that's good. That Number is. two, keep these instructions. Oh. Number three, heed all warnings. Number four, follow all instructions. <laughs> Number five. Now we're actually getting into the meat and potatoes. Number okay. five. Do not use this apparatus near water. Ah, so it's like a <laughs> gremlin. Six. Clean only with a dry cloth. Yeah. Number seven. Do not feed it after midnight. Oh, see, weird. Huh? Right, is it right there? Uh, number seven. Do not block any ventilation openings. Install in accordance with the manufacturer. Do not install near any heat sources, radiators. Do not defeat the safety purpose of the polarized grounding type plug. Protect the power cord from being walked upon. Use only attachments <laughs> specified by the manufacturer. Use only with the car. What? Use only with the cart, stand, tripod, bracket, or table specified by the manufacturer. What? Let me find out if my table's approved for use. <laughs> oh, God, that page is blank. Uh, can, can we call the EU? Is there is there someone in You know what, what's really stupid Canada about this? That is that this much, so like those two pages, so like literally, out of the entire manual, that's what you need. And everything, I, and I, I, and I would, everything I would else, argue that point. Every, everything else is just what the various governments of the world make them print. <laughs> that no one fucking reads, in case you were wondering. All right, and so it's a very anyway. green way to do it, is to waste 12 pages of paper, yeah, if, you, right. if you care about that. Okay, so there, there you have it. Uh, all of the, well, we'll just, I tell you what, let's just, let's just make a little still life out of it. Yeah, here. all right. Here is okay. what you yeah. get if you order an do Ouya. You get that as well if you were a backer. But anyway, so mm -hmm. basically there is your ooh -yah experience in a nutshell. Yeah, table not included. That's right. And well, but I mean, it may not even be. It may not even be authorized to work just, with, so you know. who knows. So there you have it. That's the, that is the ooh -yah game console. Mm -hmm. But of course... Uh, the, the, the it's not just packaging. for sitting on tables, is it's it, Brent? Not. Although, you uh, have to admit... Frankly, it, it's doing a damn fine job by damn so... Absolutely. And, you know, one thing that I just want to point out, Tony, is that going into the semis, Ouya really, really has strong table sit. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, that's something that all the other teams are going to have to contend with. Yes, yes, so... Right you are, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, should we hook this bad boy up? We or, should. Uh, let's, let's plug it up, and we'll do that through the magic of editing... Because uh, you have no idea how long this is actually going to take. <laughs> okay, so we have got the Ouya hooked up, and we are now going to uh, put the batteries in the controller. Just, just as heads up, this is three weeks later. That, that's, <laughs> that's how, that's long, how it long it took. We told you it was going to be substantial. All right, so let's see. I'm doing that right. Do that. That feels nice and... Nice and solid in there, so that's good. So is is that magnetic that holds it? it on? Yeah, it is magnetic. I, I was kind of like waiting that's for like, like some sort of snap, sort of like a yeah. But there's not really. It, it's you know, it, it it feels good. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's going to come off at all. Yeah. It just uh, it just doesn't have like the sort of like thunk. Yeah, the thunk effect that you would the like you know you Iron Man's face mask coming on. That's exactly right. Like you're waiting on that sound effect, and it's not coming. Sort of like you're waiting on Iron Man 3 to be good, and it's not happening. Or to be over. Either way. Yeah. All right. So there we go. We officially have batteries in the mm -hmm. controller, which I think means we are ready to power up the console. So All right. Sounds good. Sounds let's good. Let's go do it. All right. I feel like we should have the Benny Hill music. That's right. All right. Yeah, okay, you ready? Yep. A little bit of a light. Okay. On the top, that's better. All right, all right, all right. We're going to write input. You plugged up the Here. HDMI cable, right? I did. I, I promise you. There, oh, there it's go. going. All right. It's had, it had a thunk for a second there. It did. It had to, it had to make sure it wanted it. But now... Yeah. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, you you the control? Sorry. Yeah, you just over here. Yeah. All right, to pair your controller, Actually, press and hold. That line up just we can turn some... both of these off. Go Actually, that, I, think, I, I think that's probably fine. All right. To pair your controller, press and hold the U button, or the Ouya button, uh, until only the middle two LEDs are flashing, then let go. Here we go. You want to get this? Oh, yeah. So there you go, middle two flashing, let go.
I have officially let go, <laughs> and hopefully something, hopefully something good is now occurring. No. There we go. All right. So it took a second, but now we're done. Continue. I'm assuming that's going to be this button. Select Bluetooth settings. Skip. Join a wireless network. All right. What's up, you kitty? For security reasons, should I uh, yeah. pan away at this time I'll, uh, and we'll show kitty pool? Chewbacca. Oh, 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 oh. Upa Ta. Chana Solo. <laughs> Upa <Chanaka> Chewbacca. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And this is the other cat, Kilrathi. How you doing? Where are you going? Yeah, huh? Meow. Meow. All right, here we go. So I'm going to join my wireless network. I'm going to look at table while you're doing that. Yay, technology worked. <laughs> Software update! <laughs> what?! Maximizing fun quotient. Aligning <laughs> synergies. I actually really like opening flaps. <laughs> opening the pod bay doors. Peeling away layers. <laughs> I really like that actually, because so much of that stuff is just like useless. Tasting, Tasting rainbows. rainbows. Nice. So they, basically, the Ouya just dropped on, Yeah, they are on LSD. Reducing complexity. Again, I'm, I'm seeing that sort of like slightly purple... Inventing emoticons. Yeah, the slightly purple that color. That slightly purple color scheme carrying over. Although you can see now in direct light, it looks very gray. It, it does. It it's, very, like very off, it's like off... It's like off... Because like when I held it up, if you turn it sideways, you'd start to see the purple hues yeah. come through. Yeah, so it, it's, but, it's very interesting. I thought I saw... Yeah, keeping calm. But anyway, that, 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 that's really cool. And, it, you know, the, the thing that you and I were talking about uh, the other night, we were talking on the phone about the, the original PlayStation and getting that demo disc. Yeah. That, you know, had, like, music and all of those things. And the T-Rex demo. The T-Rex demo is, like, the thing that everybody always remembers. Yeah. And you and I were talking about how that is hurting cats. I love that. <laughs> I, I know something about that. Um, that is something... Being awesome in space. That's something you see from a company that's hungry. That's something yeah. you see from a company that's trying to make an impression, that is trying to establish a relationship with you, you know, with this product. Well, and you can see how much care and love and everything went into well, it. Well, it's also like a, a layer is taken away, like a barrier between the two. It's kind of like a, you yeah. know, I, like I, you know, I, I remember getting that disc and like, you know, it, it having the music on it. And you got it a couple weeks before the system came out. Mm -hmm. And then when it came out, they're like, you know, and then when it comes out, put it in your system. You put it in there, it's got all these... You know, I mean, frankly, features that were never used. I remember it had like the video that mapped onto a cube or something yep. like that that rotated yep. around. I've still got that disc, actually. It's pretty cool. That is. And, um, and, but anyway, like this kind of stuff right here. I mean, just sort of the attention to detail and sort of like, you know, caring about, you know, what's the first thing that the, you know, the person sees when they open up their Ouya console, you know, in the box and they see that. Thank you for believing, you know. You know, how do you, how do you sort of make... You know that that stupid, horrible wait for the system update to finish. How do you make somewhat that pl somewhat palatable. entertaining? Yeah, yeah. and yeah, although, all of that's really cool. I, although, it, it, admittedly, and I totally agree, and I, I do like the way they're doing this. I I hate the fact that we can't seem to get like any new device anymore. That you get it, and you it turn it on, and you're using it. It's like you get it, you turn it on, updating. Yeah, that's true. Let, let me get to you to the current version, you know, and and I mean. I, I understand it to a degree, but this goes back to, you know, we've talked all the time about um, about kind of feeling like, you know, we're, we're sort of like the test bed anymore. You know, it used right. to be it used to be that you bought a game or you bought a console or something like that. I mean, they didn't have a chance to, 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 to update it or fix it down yep. the road or whatever. So they had to put it out in a, you know, somewhat finalized and form. And it had to work. And, you know, and, and not to say that they never missed anything, but let's be honest. I mean, the, the issues of most consoles before, I mean, that's why your NES still works most of the time. That's I right. mean, you know, Because like, they had to get it right the first yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you may have to, you know, take it out and clean the contacts. Don't, every once don't blow, don't blow. Don't the, blow, that's the, bad the for it. That's, that's yes. bad for it. That, that's not good because of the oxygen. It, never mind. Anyway. Exactly. Um, the, um, it is true, though. I mean, living in the connected world... Uh, and we might as well go ahead and do an episode of the podcast since this is going to take. Uh, I was, a I was actually going to say maybe we should to conserve <laughs> battery power. We might want to take we, a break. We might we might skip this to the magic of editing. But the last thing I'll say on that is, you know, living in the connected world, when you have the option to fix it after launch, it is almost impossible to find anybody, uh, you know, any company that. Uh, tries as hard to get it perfect before launch because yeah. as long as the option is there to do it, you know, there's less and less of a compelling reason to yes. get it right. I mean, the reason they got it right back then was because of the fact there was no other choice. And yeah. as soon as there was a choice, you know, 
they, they started and, they started not doing it. And there's definitely an upside to don't get don't get us wrong or you know yeah, like I, you, can you, add new you can add new you can functionality. Unlock, you can fix things. You absolutely, know, but long-standing but I, bugs that you know that you couldn't have before. So I, there are. I do advantages. think that there is kind of this like um, I don't know this this just sort of slightly less concern with putting it out in a final form because you can always update it. I, yeah. I I sort of wish that there was like a little bit more effort put into putting it out, turning it on because again. Your your first experience, although again, admittedly they're they're you know having some fun with it, it's still waiting on an update. That's you true. Know, like I powered mean, on and then uh, okay. oh, and hurry, right. hurry up and wait to use it. Exactly. That's the thing. I mean, like I'm trying to remember. It was probably my iPhone. Like probably the last mm -hmm. thing that I bought that like I literally pulled out of the box, turned it on, like went through like that whole like you know hi welcome to your new device thing. Yeah. And then you know, forty seconds later. I was using it. Like, yeah. Like, but my iPhone's like the last thing I can think of that I did that with. And and, and in defense, they, they have updates too, you know. So, but yeah, but yeah. admittedly, I think exactly. Apple does I mean, do it's, a thing it's where it's like, sort it's of. It's not like they're, they're any different. It's just that, but I mean, like that was the last experience yeah. that I had that I can remember where I didn't like open it up, you know, plug it in and immediately start updating. I, I bought a pack of number two pencils the other day. Updating. As soon as I opened them up. Start updating. Well, I mean, the thing with pencils is the fucking DLC. Yeah. I mean, it's always... I it mean, is. It is. You need more lead for them. Endless. You need, you need, need more erasers. Eraser. And, you know, it's... You, oh, yeah. It's just... It's, uh, it's you have so to go to school bad. to know how to use it and what to do with it. And uh, it's just... It's the, it's the fucking government, man. That's it is the fucking is. government. Can we carry on like we just did for the other 50% of the update? I don't think so. It is uh, it is 50% done, which uh, I think we've been recording for, right. at least since it started, for about, uh, I don't know, five or six minutes, something like that. So I think through the magic of editing, we're going to spare you the rest of this inane conversation. Three more weeks from now, we will be... No, I'm just playing. We'll and the 50%, uh, or the bottom 50% of the update. So we'll be back in a second. And we're back! As you can see, uh, the update has now finished. Ah. Uh, it actually took so long that I have I've had to repair my remote. Ah. And I don't mean repair, I mean repair. Is anything remote. like an au pair? Because I've heard that's really pretty hot. Yeah, hot I, I, I've heard that as well. Okay. Spelled weird though. Yes. Anyway, uh, all right. So we are going to click through here and continue. All right. The setup process. And there's already been a new update since. Wait. We got done. What is this preparing? You mean that was just downloading? <laughs> Damn these eyes! Uh, powering <laughs> up. So, and as uh, you can already tell, though the the uh, Android, like I mean, that's that's the exact Android powering off I animation for like. Oh, is it? Yeah, like on my uh, HP touchpad that I rooted right. and everything. It's just like that. You know that that's something that I like to talk about just real briefly. We'll, we'll see. Uh, you know what happens <laughs> with this, but I am actually excited. You know, this is the first um, this is the first Android device that I own. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited to sort of see how uh, the fact that this is based on that ARPAN, uh, excuse me, that open architecture platform is, uh, is, going to, is going to, you know, just change like how this evolves and what features it has, you know, how people end up utilizing it in terms of hacking and so forth. Um, I, I'm very excited about that aspect of it. The idea of a video game console based on a, uh, an open platform is, is a rather interesting one. So that's something that I'm excited about, and I'm excited to have an Android device. Uh, ostensibly, it's not going to you know, make phone calls and shit. Uh, it's still. I like that boot up animation. I, I agree. Cool. You know, it's it's simple. It's to the point. Paired my controller. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In theory, much simpler this time. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. All right, choose a network. My sure. console's up to date. Continuing in three, two, one. All right, now this is an interesting question. In theory, I have an existing account. Although, can you hand me? Uh, can you hand me my phone? Yes. Uh, in theory, I've got an existing account, but I honestly cannot remember for the life of me my credentials. So mm. I'm gonna have to look that up here, which actually will give me a chance to plug. Although I'm not making a dime off this, but there is a fantastic application that I would recommend to people called One Password. It's available on mobile devices. Uh, I, I believe on Android. I know it's on iOS, but it's available on mobile devices as well as on Mac and Windows desktop. It helps you pick out knitting patterns, right? That's exactly what it does. But uh, basically, it is it is a way for you to... Uh, you only have to remember one password. You have to remember your master password. You can use it to generate random passwords for websites. So, you know, you're not using the same password for everything, which is a really terrible idea. You can do that. 
and uh, you can keep them in sync. I use Dropbox. There are other ways of syncing it, but uh, you can keep them in sync across all your devices. So rather than you know just using the same lame password, which is really not a good idea, you can uh, generate really, really good passwords that you're going to use online and things like that. And then you just have to remember your one master password and one password to, uh, to access what, all that. What if someone gets your one password? Uh, in that case, you are fucked. Mm, okay. I mean, truly, well, and, I mean, in the sense of the aristocrats, fucked. Mm. And here we are. I've got my, uh, I've got my Ouya password and stuff right and here. And that is? What, what That's is? great. All right, so what is the I'm password? going to log in. I'm not going to tell you my password. Because I tried, guys. I tried for you. Oh, you know what? I'm going to ultimate turn off. I'm going to look over here. What do you think of that? Look at them stairs. Ooh, yeah. You know, Some nice walking downstairs action. If you're not familiar with this kind of architecture, it's referred to uh, in the region of the country where I live as a, as a split foyer. And when my wife and I were house hunting, I said that the one thing I wanted in a house was not a split foyer. And... And that's exactly what I got. Wow. So that's just that's just a lesson to yourself. Like when you ah. set out looking for a house, mm -hmm. just uh, just remember that whatever it is that you don't want is exactly what you'll fucking end up with. That's sort of depressing. It is, and that's also a microcosm for life itself, kids. Oh, hey, real that's, quick, that's real bad. real quick. I don't have an internet connection. Yes. Try the touchpad. That's pretty the, cool. It's the mouse on the screen. Yeah, okay, I forgot. Oh, oh, well, I'm moved. Don't watch it's it. It's okay. I mean, yeah, it's just my username. That's going to be yeah. public. My password's not on there. That actually isn't bad. It feels pretty good. Um, it, th th okay, so here's the only problem with it. The only problem with it, there is absolutely no physical indicator on the pad like it'd be great if they were just like a little indented line little, or something where you'd know where it's going to die out like where, where the yeah exactly starts. that is one thing i actually That's thought about when i first thing. saw that design was you know you know the the entire area is not a touch but so like you know where does it end and and it is kind of there's, yeah. i do sort of think that that maybe is a design cue that they could take for next time yep i also I'm like sorry. how i don't i don't remember like this being on the ps3 but i like how they're using the trigger buttons to do previous and next field. That's uh, cool. The PS3 does do that on a lot of things. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so let's choose a network here because it apparently does not have connection to internet. And it's saying that that is the problem. Let's hmm. see. Hmm. Do you think because it did a firmware or like a software update, maybe that could have reset it's, it? It's possible. Of... Although, you know, when it came back, I mean, it was showing me the network. I am showing your MAC address. I don't know. Is that anything of, of note? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, unless they've got my, unless they're on my network, I don't know if that I don't know matters. If it matters. I'm not going to show up there just for a second. All right. Until you choose a network. Uh, I'm sure there's some clever person out there that can, you know, fucking ass rate it's me. Probably like Ruben. God, don't don't tell Ruben. Any, don't, listen, don't tell listen, him. kids. If you're ever in a position to speak to Ruben Moretz, tell him nothing. <laughs> tell him nothing. And if he offers you something to drink, don't accept it. And especially not his lollipops. Yes. <laughs> Um, Ragnarok is not in range. Okay, so that's interesting. I usually don't have a problem hooking uh, anything else up in terms of Wi-Fi in here. Hmm. Maybe that's a limitation of the antenna. It, it could be, or it could just be, and, and sometimes I hate to say it, like it's, you know, we, you could, yeah, I was going to say, turn it off and back on and maybe it yeah, kicks back in. It. Yeah, there you go, see? All right, obtaining IP address. Picked it right back up, so. Although, you know what, I've been having, okay, so now I appear to be, uh, be, to be connected. I noticed that it's only got... Two, two bars, now it's three, three bars. All right, so that's cool. All right, so uh, in theory we got that. Let's okay. continue. All right. All right, so we're going to okay. do existing account again. I like where this is going. All right, I'm going to. I am now using. What? What did he say? He says, "You know the guy who was on that show in, in invented acid." That's not true. Yeah, yeah, it is true. All right, I'm going to the Lassie website right now. <laughs> I'm on the internet. Hey, I think this might, while you're talking this in, this might be a good uh, time to talk about something I've really been concerned with lately. What, uh, what is your stance Swamp ass. on the pronunciation of the graphics interchange uh, format? What, GIF? Have you, have, okay, so you pronounce it GIF. 
I do, but I, I only because I've been corrected by uh, by people. Well, then you may want to be corrected again. All right. Because recently, and I because I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I always said Jif. I, you know, I never. Yeah, that, that was how I originally pronounced it. I originally That's, pronounced it Jif. I, I never even. I, I never even. To be honest with you, never even really thought that there was like there was another. I word. never even like to me, GIF just never sounded right. And some people act like they're like, well, you you are crazy for not not having all. I saw a guy. That. I saw a guy literally get punched in the balls for pronouncing it that I, way. I, time. Literally, so so recently at like the Webby Awards or something like that right. uh, for like a lifetime achievement award, the guy that created the graphics interchange format. Yeah. Um. Because like at the Webbies, I guess you, they have like a limitation. You can only say five words as as the acceptance speech. Is some it's weird pronounced rule. GIF. It's pronounced GIF, not GIF, or something like that. You know, it was, it was that like was, his. That's what he said. Yeah, that's and fucking um, great. And and you know, but the thing was like the the internet just like erupted. It's like I don't care what the fucking originator said. It's, it's pro- <laughs> the pronunciation. It's a graphics interchange. That's a g sound, and, and I'm like, yeah, but it's also a G I F, which is GIF. Like you know, do you, do you pronounce the letters or do you pronounce like what it's supposed to be describing? Like I just it never made sense to me. Damn it! This is still getting. Oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it's, you still have a. I still didn't finish that. Duh! What's kickball? <laughs> <laughs> do yourself a favor, or do me, do me a favor, and punch, and punch yourself, yourself in the face, so I don't have to. Right now, so that I don't have to find you on campus. And fucking do it myself. All right, and we're in. <laughs> right. So I don't, I don't know what was going on there, but I think, so, it, I think honestly, I think it I, may have just been where yeah, it doesn't show you the password. I, I must have just mistyped one of the characters because I, I, I logged in on the website, it worked fine, and then when I tried it again, it worked fine. Yeah. So here we are. So this is this is our uh, ooh yeah our boot up screen. All right, this is our home screen actually. That's a pretty cool. Home. So play, discover, make, manage. Uh, let's just go ahead and I don't. Let's just hit play and see what happens. I don't have any games yet. Find them in the discover section. See, I was hoping that like something really cool would happen there. Like they just have like a built-in, like even if it was just like a bubble popping game, and then it said "just kidding," yeah, or something like that. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the discover section. Okay. Final Fantasy three. See, that's already making me happy. Language, a league of evil, language of evil. It's like that's Latin. Yeah. It's I like, you know the interface. I like it's 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 simple, but you know, kind of kind of has a nice look to it. It's taking a little while to load, but I think yeah, that's good. yeah, that was cool. And I wonder. I mean, I don't. You know, the thing. I guess I'm not 100 percent sure. So, so you know, this isn't going through like the Play Store. You know, this isn't going through like the, or at least not, not. I don't think it is. Natively, yeah, I, I, you know. I think that they've got like their own thing that they're that they're doing. And maybe that adds like an extra layer of of uh, stuff. Piece. Maybe I will say that it, it is kind of um, well. I mean, as you can see, it's it's taking it's taking a good long while for. Um, it's taking a while to load the gifs that make up those images. <laughs> Does Flash Out 3D in any way remind you of Wipeout? It, it is Wipeout. Or it's, it's the... It's the... It's the, it's the generic version. I, guess, I didn't want to say the poor man's Wipeout because yeah. I, you know, I don't know that it is. I, it looks very... It actually looks pretty cool. I, I haven't actually played it yet, but it looks pretty cool. Pinball Arcade, that's cool. The Little Crane That Could. <laughs> Definitely the first game we got. A, zombies and Trains. So I wonder what the um, what's like the price point on some of these. Like, what, know, is, let's, let's what, what is that? Price. Like, this one actually does to me look pretty impressive. Uh, da, 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 da. It didn't have a price point. So I mean, was it? It's got seventy-seven. Stunning effects thousand. and three D graphics. Hold on, hold on. Now those seem to load up pretty fast. The yeah, they like did. It. Racing updated up on yeah. light. Mm-hmm. Download. Maybe it's a freebie. Or you're being charged eighty seven thousand dollars. Oh right my god! You know, I wonder. Um, I am kind of curious, just in terms of like server infrastructure and everything. You know, I'm assuming that this is that like the developers are responsible for hosting the download files and and all of that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I do wonder, you know, just because this is such a such a new thing, because 
the console has not officially launched. It won't officially launch for another week and a half or so, right? It's longer than that, isn't it? In like three weeks? Isn't it? Or maybe, I'm sorry, what, what is June. the date? What's the day? Oh, what, what is the date that it launches? June? I thought it was like June 6th or something like that. Oh, okay. All right, well, yeah, so I guess it's about two weeks away. So anyway, uh, but I do just kind of wonder about how all that stuff is going to... Yeah, gonna it, it is kind of good, because i, I got to be honest, like that... The, Again, you know, when you, especially when you know you got your new system, you know, things, things, little things like that do sort of just, you know, not worry, but just kind of make like, ah, okay, uh, yeah. okay. I see here that the graphics are in fact jaw dropping. I was, we were, we were, we were, we were wondering we were talking about, about that, that earlier. We like, what are about they going to be jaw dropping, or I, do you think they're going to be stunning, or do you think that they'll, uh, they'll just be visually appealing? I'm. I'm I'm a bit stunned that they went with jaw dropping. Yeah, well, I my actual my jaw actually dropped when I saw that they didn't do stunned, which oh. is ironic. That is ironic. Really? Don't you think? But not in that Atlantis Morissette way. So. All right, so let's just check on our down. I was yeah, just kind of looking through. Yeah, absolutely. And, and like, back out and see if you can do other stuff. And while it's, I mean, I'm sure you can. I'm not, you know, I don't know. It's probably not that surprising. All right, see so how it's, it it's about I don't know twenty it's, it's, twenty-five yeah. percent done. So let's go back here. Uh, see what else we got going. And and you know I think it's interesting that Discover Card chose the UEI as an as an advertising medium. Yeah, I agree. I mean it's a um, it, it's a bold choice for them. It and is. And you gotta you gotta admire them for getting out in front of the curve in a big way. It know? really was. Oh, I don't know what's that game at the bottom. Go down just a second. This one right here. Picks and Lover. Yeah, like I played that on. I can't remember what it was. It was like on an iPad or something. It was really cool. It has this like. Yeah. Retro, old style, kind of retro look to it. it, like, but they're all different styles. It's really kind of neat little game. Okay. Is it kind of a kind platformer? Of, it, yeah, it was like a platformer. It really was a very simple game, if I'm honest. But it's kind of neat. Yeah. It really more just visually kind of neat looking. Um, I wouldn't say the graphics were jaw dropping though. No, I would agree with that. Although, as Constellation, your heartbeat cannot resist the rush. It wow. All you love about your classic jump-and-run games condensed into five-minute sessions or in infinite play mode for those who for have how many minutes? nerves of steel and incredible reflexes. Well, you know, that's an excellent question, Tony, and we're waiting on science to get back to us about that. Right. I tell you, you and I were talking about this on the phone the other night, and the game that I am waiting to see in here is Mutant Muds. Yes. Uh, we know it's coming. I don't. Uh, I haven't checked. There lately. may. I think there might be a demo. Is that what I heard? I think I heard that there that might would be, be a that demo. Would be awesome if that were the or, or the the demo, I guess, for the game is available, but maybe not the full version. Is essentially a King Bird of the Night Hill is a racing game. So you can download TV shows. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! Damn it, Bobby! Oh, yours is much better than mine. Of course, you're from Texas, so you ought to have that down pretty. Uh, I, I think I can do. What's what's the other one? Yeah, you know, there's there you go. Like you just you know. That's what the one that Mike Judge does. Isn't yeah, it? I think yeah. Cannibals. That was actually kind of cool game. Yeah, I've heard that. of I've heard of Cannibals. It's a lot smaller. We might should try that first. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's it's not going to have jaw dropping graphics, Tony. What the it does? I, I I think it's going to have simple and fast paced gameplay. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's rumored to have that. I don't know if they, uh, you know, I don't know if it made it into the final version of the game. <laughs> Local favorites, I... Brent Adams and Tony Geist were found dead on the couch after waiting <laughs> to the point of starvation for the Ouya <laughs> console to update and subsequently games to download. Hillary um, Clinton and other politicians are discussing whether or not the video game maker should be... <laughs> Should be held responsible for the death. Click, click on Final Fantasy because I gotta be honest. I saw some footage from that. Like I haven't played this version, but I guess it's available on some other platforms. It looked awesome. Like it looked really visually very pretty. Yeah, I've seen this is this is the 3D uh, remake that they did. This was on DS too, wasn't it? Um, I guess it. Well, yeah, that's right. That's right. This is the one that was on the DS that they like ported over. But from what yeah. I saw, like it, it, it looked. I mean, yeah, the resolution. Yeah, of course, it was cool. Was I, I tell you though, dude, if. And, you know, I'm a sucker for this, so I know that I'll buy it again, even though I've bought pretty much every version, except the one of the Wonderswan, because I don't yeah. own the Wonderswan. Yeah, yeah. But I've bought every version ever. Of Final Fantasy. Of the or original the, Final Fantasy. Yeah. The very first one that, that I played on NES. And as I famously said on the show, I replay that game once every year. 
Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a game, you're gonna do that with that's that's the one. It is. Uh, it, Although oddly phenomenal. enough, you know, it's not the Final Fantasy. No, you it's played not. Played it multiple times. In in the same way, it seems. A, it seems a bit. I mean, we're Final Fantasy three. It's irony bordering on hypocrisy, really. When you, but anyway, my point is that uh, if they release Final Fantasy one on this, particularly that that version that I've got, like the last one that I got was on iOS. And that was that was the Wonder Swan, or that was, I believe it was the Wonder Swan version. It was very similar. Yeah, the Wonder I mean, Swan was the first one that did, was like the remake of the graphics, and they basically right. poured that over to the that went to the PSP. Well, it went to the G to the Game Boy Advance first, right? So it was and then Game they Boy did, Advance. and it it was basically a port, and then they did a significantly uh, improved version that went to PSP, and then um, that's also on PlayStation. I've got it on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, um, PlayStation well, Final Fantasy Origins or whatever. Yeah, I've got that. And um, but if they release it on and the the one on iOS is great. The one on iOS is very very good. Um, it's still though you know and I tell you that's the the one the thing interface. I look the forward to is this still not exactly. Right. It's, it's still like the on screen right. touch screen, which I just I, I don't I just don't care for. It, it, well, that that's the thing. Like I, I find if the game is not specifically check designed the game for and see if it's done down because I'd be interested to know that. I mean, surely it gives you an indication when it's done, right? Yeah, I'd like to think. Although, you know. Is this supposed to be... This is like everything, I yeah, think, from yeah, what I understand. Just, it's sandbox, as they say. So, not a ton here at the moment uh, is my over... I mean, if if this has got everything, then they've got 40 titles as of right now. Yeah. And one of those is Code Factory, which doesn't <laughs> fucking count. But one of them is Multispace, which... Which definitely counts. Is more than one. It actually counts as more than... It definitely makes up for Code Factory. Multispace takes the 90s cave multiplayer dogfight shooter genre. I, you know, I lived through the 90s. <laughs> I played a lot of games in the 90s, and I have to say that the cave multiplayer dogfight shooter genre was, I somehow missed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what they even mean by that, to be honest with you. Uh, to Caves of 2013 Outer Space and even further, contains a level editor and a random level generator. Network and local multiplayer. No, currently connection can only be established between iOS, Android, and Android devices that have the same version of the game installed. Now, wait a second. If you're telling me that I could be playing this game on my Uyan TV against you on your iPhone sitting right there, that's pretty cool. That is kind of cool. That is kind of cool. All right, so let's go back and look at that other game real fast uh, after I go through a few of these bio knots. Space ape? Is that what I'm saying? Space ape! And he's a communist, I see. Yeah. Dude, you know, Red Warren ape. and I talked about on the Axe Factor. Uh, it was one of the one of the, the trailers for uh, Injustice Gods Among Us mm -hmm. that had, uh, you know, like a Red Sun Superman. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, they did like a version of Solomon Grundy. Mm -hmm. And he's got, like, you know, just like. Knives and like you know, like like you know, corkscrews, like all the stuff like sticking out of his back, you know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, try to kill him, and you know, of course, he can't be killed. Yeah. And one of the things sticking out of his back is the fucking Soviet sickle, <laughs> <laughs> stabbing him in the back. <laughs> and I told Laura, I said, that is like the funniest fucking thing <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. That is, I have awesome. never seen anything that was that was just more <laughs> like. In terms of like just encapsulating like my entire feelings about a political philosophy, nothing could be better than Solomon Grundy getting stabbed in the back by the Soviet sickle. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty awesome. All right, so that is uh, wait, what's adrenaline? I've heard of adrenaline. Submission for the 2013 Global Game Jam. The game. Focused on the use of audio feedback and conveyance inside an action platformer. All right. Interesting. All right, so let's go back and check on our download here. Uh, where was that under? Was that under staff picks? All right, it's almost done. almost done. Let's back out to the menu and let's see if it tells us if, like, when it's done. Yeah. Featuring you as the exceptional free runner who won't be held down by the system. <laughs> listen, listen, you're laughing right now, but 
but I guarantee you there's a series of films waiting to be made about a group of, <laughs> of, of plucky parkour practitioners who aren't going to be held down by the system, man. We saw that video with the cops, you know, the parkour guys that jump over them and, you know, the cops, like, arrested them. You ever, you ever see that video? No, I don't think I did. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I've seen... I've seen videos similar. To That's the man. It's the man it's holding the them down. They, they were just trying to walk. They were creatively. just trying to free walk, man. Do you remember that fucking show that MTV had years ago, where, like, basically it was one of the first like actual sort of reality shows in the. And I'm not talking about the real world before you before you fuck with me, but the idea, the premise behind the show is that it would it was like real people telling their stories, and basically you would like write in TV like a, a real letter. World? Hear me out. You would write him to be a letter explaining, like, what your premise, like, you would pitch them on, like, what you wanted to film. They would send you a cheap video camera. You would film whatever your thing was, send it back to them, and then they would air it on this show. One of them was about... Is that uh, why MTV's programming was so bad? <laughs> yeah, it might have been. No, no. MTV's programming got got it got bad for entirely different reasons. <laughs> that had nothing to do with these poor saps. But I remember one of them was about like a single dad. His wife worked, he stayed at home and raised their child. And he was talking about how there was a, a lack of baby changing stations in men's restrooms. Like, you know, in public restrooms. There were no baby changing stations in the men's restroom. Mm -hmm. and, and he, you know, was making a very legitimate point that that was something that was very needed. And I mean, like I said, this was back in the '90s. Now, of course, that's commonplace today. Yeah. But uh, but at the time, it it, it was really kind of different. There was another one that was about this young guy uh, who was um, who was a big Second Amendment supporter. He had uh, he he had a a carry permit, mm -hmm. and uh, he was a big gun enthusiast. And he was talking about the sort of like the legal aspects and social aspects of openly wearing uh, his sidearm. You know, like when he was out in public and things like that. There was a, and, but the thing that I was specifically thinking of was like some high school kids did a video about free walking, which was a new, which is a new style of walking they were practicing in their high school. And by free walking, I, I mean they were like, you know, like going they're... up, going up the walls and like falling down and like hitting themselves in the face, like you know, <laughs> jumping over trash cans and things like that. And like I do, I remember they'd like jump up in the air and like with one foot hit the like the 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 thing, That's the the locker behind them or yeah. something like. Smack. And they were like, the man's trying to hold us down by keeping us from free walking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, Lord. no, you're just, you're just assholes. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to this. Now, i got to be honest, I haven't seen an indicator. I haven't either, so let's go back I and But I feel like, it. yeah, see. Okay, so it's done now. Let's go back to my games library real fast and see if it's there. I think I might have just pronounced library, library. <laughs> you right. thinking of libation. Yeah, which I'm actually going to enjoy some more of right now. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so it's done, but I've got to install it. Um, is this standard to Android right here? Because this looks a little bit like that other one. Do you want to install um, this application? It will get access to yeah. you. Yeah. Allow this app to network communicate, system tools, show all. Hardware controls. It can control vibration. That's, that's good to know. So I have to say that this process is not as satisfying as the, you know, like basically buy it on the PSN store, or actually, no, that's no, a bad that, example because you've got to yeah. install it there, too. No, I, I was going to say, to be honest, uh, I, Microsoft, I, I will give them credit for having probably the best experience there because you just click on it, and then it's pretty much just downloaded, installed, and then, then you just have to, like, back out of the menu and click right. on it. Learn how to play. Yes. All right. Energy, player speed. It's a good thing that the, the player energy and player speed huts look nothing alike. <laughs> well, they have different uh, you know, icons and the colors are That's right. right. Left, right. Uh, money. All the icons are, are, ex are exceedingly different as Listen, well. Listen, anything that's got like money, lap, and player's position, I mean, like, frankly, this sounds like. I mean, like, listen to this music track. This is a game designed for strip clips, kids. <laughs> right. that's, that's what this is. Okay, money, in game currency, rockets, a rare but strong weapon, machine gun, a common used weapon with rocket menace. Autopilot, shields, elements, barriers, destroy it to gain access. It's Red. too bad these guys hadn't played like Wipeout before because they <laughs> they would have saved themselves some time and then coming up with names. Nice. Nice. That right. actually looks. Uh, it's. I'm not sure how well this comes across because we are a little further back, but yeah, that looks good. Like I mean, it looks. You know, there, there's not much, not too much aliasing on the, the 3D. No, I mean the textures. The textures are not super high res. But but not bad. But it's not bad. 
Honestly, to me, this looks like a game that was designed for phones that has just been adapted. I mean, that, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Pretty sure that's exactly what it is, too, so <laughs> probably not. Don't don't hurt yourself too hard yeah, thinking about it. I think that's probably what it was. That is the crowd sound effect out of uh, Sega Baseball, the launch <laughs> title with the Sega Master System. Circa 1930. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that that really, really tight left in the left analog stick. Yeah. Very handy right now because, like, I actually feel like I have a lot of control over this, and I suck at these games. You always beat the shit out of these white I gotta uh, be honest though, this it's running very smooth. I was like, gonna say like the frame rate's good, the, the pace. The, Pretty decent. So the graphics themselves, and of course, I don't know, you know, maybe you almost be worth ah. this on a phone and seeing how it works. This is probably also a little bit nerfed. Uh, this is probably like not as difficult as some of the later ones. And like, you know how I like, can wipe out like a nipple oh, wall and it makes that incredibly terrible punching sound? Yeah, like, yeah. You just destroyed your eraser. I'm not really getting that. Like, let's just try it and see what happens. See, so like, yeah, it's in, uh, nothing. Nothing. nothing there. Nothing. Nothing there. So I'm not doing as well as I thought. The game's just not telling me how bad I suck. Which is actually kind of like, you know... It is. Just look at the hexagon or the... Uh... <laughs> which one's my energy and which one's my power? I can't... Which one's my speed? That's the one that looks like a meter. Oh, I fired a rocket. Those are so rare. I don't know if I'll ever get a chance. <laughs> I got, you know, I'm impressed by the smoothness of the graphics. Yeah, that was the that was always the thing about white was just trying to get that frame rate size you could without yeah. the blurring and tearing and all that. Jesus is not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Uh, that's about the bad. Yes. Hey, so let me ask you. Let me ask you. If you hit like say the home button, does it does it like hold your game or does it all right, okay, so it's like a pause. Yeah, it just it took me into it took me into this and just sort of pause. No wonder it's. Uh, uh, I think I'm being targeted for annihilation. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna argue with this. <laughs> I'm out of food. Okay. So put, I've noticed. I've noticed. Put, put on a Kenny Loggins song. I've got to outfly this guy. I need the right music. I lost to the fucking cast of American Gladiators. Okay, okay, so in all fairness though, Thunder, Cyclone, Hornet, Virax, Virax, Vig Vigorax. How did they get that one? I told you, I just lost to the cast of American Gladiators. Well, so I wonder if you could be playing this and downloading some of the background. Well, let's try it. What do you think? Much more in the full version. Okay, okay so that was that so was the demo version. Demo. Okay. All right, so let's see. If I wanted to, I um... was just wondering if you could get like to the main menu without like yes. backing out of the game. Garage. You think you do that most? <laughs> it's ability to to you know replicate like a a house. Music rave party is is Alright, uh I'm actually having I'm tr like I'm trying to just sort of like back out right now and it's kinda not letting me. There we go, alright. Uh back out, Main menu maybe? Is it what you go? No, I don't. No, just yet. <laughs> so basically, that is stuck on screen, and I can't get rid of it unless I do that. That's a little, that's a little hinky. Hmm. Is the way that I would describe it. So like basically, I'm just hitting like the back button. Yeah. Like, you know, leave, and it's, as you can see, it's doing absolutely nothing. Hmm. Uh, Maybe like press and hold or something. Could it be something weird like that? What's the uh, gear up in the top? And I did say gear. Yeah, up you, in the top you pronounce left. it like two letters, like metal gear. Let's try to mouse over there and see what it is. Right. right there, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh oh. I just I just lost the button in the. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're kidding. <laughs> It got it got uh, it got pressed. Down. Oh, okay. It was like James May driving a communist sedan, <laughs> <laughs> right, right through the console. Huh. Uh, all right, so basically, I'm in a position, and I think that. So hit hit A for a second. It just dawned on me that nobody can hear us. Yeah. This great music. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, and we're sorry for our talking. Cause... Yeah, so I'm hitting everything, and like absolutely nothing is happening right now. Huh. Like, basically, nothing is doing anything right now. Wait, that's doing something. <laughs> Bring up the credits. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, do, do we have Igor Zelensky's phone number? We could call him and ask him that. <laughs> um, this is kind of a interesting... So, yeah. um, so, basically, the question is, like, is this... So I just held down. So what? I just okay. held down the Uyo. Ah, okay. All right. All right makes... Let's try another game, uh, a smaller download game. <laughs> Let's try another game and see if uh, if they are all that <laughs> hinky or if that is just uh, that kind of game. That Larry. one was, I think, like eighty or ninety megs. This is forty. This I think is we should. Uh, I think that uh, can of can of. Yeah, cannibal. let's do cannonball. That was like twelve, wasn't it? And that was under. What do we see? That sandbox. I think you just passed it. Listen, I mean, I'm, when I say I think, I saw you pass it. I'm just, I'm, 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 you know, just to point that out, there you go. When I said I think, I meant I know. <laughs> so that's interesting. The thing that I find that's interesting is that I'm not seeing here, in this screen, I'm not seeing how much the game costs. Well, and you're not even seeing an option to buy it there. That's right. Like, I, I, apparently, like that's only going to happen in-game. So all I can do is download it, and then once I'm in the game, it'll maybe give me the option to purchase and tell me how much it costs. Now... On the one hand, I kind of get that. Like, I kind of get, we want every game here to seem accessible. And that certainly, that's certainly the case. But at the same time, I personally, I would kind of like to, I don't know, I'd like to know. I mean, you don't, you maybe don't want to download something that's not, uh, that, you know, you're not going to buy anyway. It's just like, hey, this is 20 bucks. Well, I'm never going to buy that one's 20 bucks. You know, so maybe, yeah. you know, but maybe that's why they do it but too. But that's the thing. I mean, that's a valid, I say valid, that is an effective sales tactic. Yeah. Yeah. If not an especially um, an especially welcome one, I, I like the description of like the uh, the the uh, style of game this is. It's a platformer short on slash time short game. on time game. Yeah. Much quicker download, but uh, also yeah. I, I still think it's probably faster though. It's kind of maybe, maybe it is just in a, in a um, for maximum awesome subwoofer is recommended. Thank God <laughs> we we, we that. have that covered. Credits remaining five credits restock oh. daily. Five thousand bonus credit. Play upgrade. So five. So I, we're 5, seeing 000. here limited free version. Let's see if we go to upgrade. You make this upgrade to the unlimited version and play as often as you want, whenever you want. You also get to see. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, sure. You're about to purchase. Well, you don't have my credit card information, but so basically, you have to get to the point where you're ready to confirm before it'll tell you that it's two ninety nine. Yeah, well, I, I personally don't like that. I would rather I would rather see that on the on the regular screen. Yeah, although it, you know it, it it's it shows you you know and it gives you a chance to back out. You know, it's, it could be worse. I have no idea how. To yeah, you just keep jumping. And this is basically just what we were making fun of a second ago. You're just running. You know, it's so funny. Uh, this actually reminds me of, of a game that a friend of mine and I were sort of like we, we talked about a game similar to this, like designing a game similar to this, like when I was in high school. Um, you really should have done this. Yeah, I really should have because clearly I've wasted my life and, uh, and, and lost a lot of money. And lost a lot of money in the process. I could have designed this. Ah. Good soundtrack. Yeah. I like the visual style too. Like I, I ah. it is. I really like these. Uh, and I, what are these called? The inf infinite runners or whatever is it, you know. Like I, I don't. I don't personally like the uh, the the. Uh, I guess like third person view ones. Like uh, what's the big one? Is it Temple yeah, Run? Yeah, Temple Run on the. On yeah, the and like I tried like the Sonic one, which actually looks gorgeous, but yeah. it just I, you know I don't know for whatever reason I'm not big on the uh, Subway Surfers also. You know. But anyway, I mean, the, I actually kind of like Temple Run. Okay. I mean, I don't hate it. You know, it's not like I think it's a uh, Xbox game. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This actually kind of makes me want to go and play this thing. It's pretty good. So now, okay, Do so you have an Uyo you can play it on? Or? I, 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 ah, damn it! 
you son of a bitch. Alright, so I'm about to run out of credits here. In the game oh, the shit, that's true. I, so each one of these is a credit? Yep. Oh, I've got shit. five to start with. But it restocks daily. So, like, after I get done with this, it's not going to let me play for probably, like, 24 hours. And then it'll let me replay. Which I suppose is a pretty decent... Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, like it's, it's pretty decent. If you were better at it, too, it would last. <laughs> <laughs> Considering this, ty this type of game, that sort of makes sense to me. So how does the control feel here? Like, this seems it's like good. a little more, uh, you know, I mean, it's I'm trying like, to pause, and I just, so here, there's one credit remaining. Why don't you play here? Uh, sure, okay. Yeah, go ahead. You think, um, okay. Oh, which, what was the jump button? Everything is the jump oh, okay, button. okay, so all right. Yeah. Oh, literally everything. I, I said everything. And you were like, what do you mean everything? And I said, everything! Like that. Gary Oldman style, baby. How do you think, uh, what do you think about the controller? I know you're really backlit here, so you might be hard to see, but what do you think yeah, about um, the controller? I, I like it. Um, it this is not the best game to evaluate. Sort of, yeah, well, and it's sort of hard to tell sometimes if, like, you know, what, um, damn it. Um, well, you got zero credits remaining. You totally fucked this, Tony. Way to go. I, how are you going to blame this on me? I will say that, that, like, just like operating the menu or navigating the menus and everything, totally makes sense. Yeah, it's totally, you know, it, it totally feels the way that it ought to, as opposed to that other game, which was a complete disgrace to UI design. I, um, I, I, I gotta be honest. I like the, I like the feel of the controller. I, <sighs> D-pad. Not. D-pad's not great. Not crazy about the D-pad. It it's just not. it has that sort of It's better than the 360 D-pad. Well, yeah, but but it's not the, it's not I mean, the PS3 your salt shaker over here is better than the the 360 D-pad. I like the feel of the analogs. Um, the, yeah, the analogs do feel really good. You should try that try that racing game. I mean that you'll never be able to exit out of. Well, we know the trick now, you know, so. That's true. Uh, let's play. So there's your your library. Yeah, actually, let me. Sh I should be showing the screen a little bit more, I suppose. Uh, what's kickball? <laughs> let's Congratulations, you discovered the break. Well, where? I thought I was in the fucking ass. I think that the left trigger is. Oh, the boost. all right. Well, see, I thought that was like the shifting, like it is in Wipeout. I guess I could have looked at the. Uh, you could have looked at the how to play if like you hadn't been a such little, a goddamn know it all again. It feels like there is a uh, slight. What, what shoots the weapon? Uh, right trigger. Well, so, how do you do that? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Um, this one, there's a slight sort of dead spot in the center of the analog. Oh, yeah? Um, not, not like, I don't think, like, unintentionally, or like, you know, like there's something wrong, but just like there's, you, it doesn't, I don't know. Like, you got to, you got you got to, you know, get it going a little bit for it to register. I don't think that is what the wrong is. I think you just added rockets. I think you just... You no, just wasted not. all your rockets, and now you got no fucking weapons. Congratulations, you're defenseless. Go tell it to, go tell it to the grandmother. I wonder if the um, like does this have motion sensing in it? So if you oh, uh, you know, crap! I can't remember for the life of me if it does. He's got like some sort of like gyro thing going. Yeah. I honestly cannot remember. The e the it's EQ bars active, are just. But yeah, that goes with the, uh... the, the. The here's the thing about this. I'm I'm reticent to use this game to talk too much about like the control or anything like that. Try the right trigger. Um. Because I personally think that this game is not that great. Oh, you beat Thunder! 
Thunder. Yeah, that was fucking great. Now try to exit the game. See, uh, see if you're a real well, now, smart now guy. Now we gotta do it. So I mean, do you want me to? I mean, I can do it. And then... Anyway. Uh, so, so what, what did you think of it? That's probably I mean, a better evaluation of the control pad and a yeah, other things. So, and, and, and admittedly, and I, I totally, totally agree with you that kind of, you can't use any one thing. It, if I'm honest, I got to be it, it sort of feels like, it feels like you're going through a small layer of some sort of interface. So, like, like it feels like there's like a s tiny smidgen of lag for better for lack of a better word between right. the controller and the, and the game I sort of felt that with Cannonball but I also I, that game kind of has that that floaty jumping feeling yeah. and this sort of I think maybe the controls are just not quite as um, responsive as, as like I would be used to and say wipe frankly, like wipe because I'm a huge fan of Wipeout yeah. and, uh, and and it's and it's not as responsive as that and I mean I'm not I'm not trying to compare the two but just trying to say like using them as a basis of, of comparison I think that the, yeah. the, the the ideal situation would be if you could um, if you could you know play like if we could get a game on this we played on another system where we could do like a direct yeah. AB comparison. I mean, and we don't have iPads or anything like that around here that we could try that on. So, <laughs> but in fairness, that this 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 uh, this this first play is is going probably a bit long anyway. But um, <laughs> let's just, let's see just real quick. Let's uh, do you mind if I maybe just no, go, go ahead? Go just ahead. A so one thing I thought was interesting, I heard that you know this has a web browser, right? Where would the web browser be? Do you think? Uh, you know, nowhere. Uh, I would say yeah. maybe maybe manage or so make. this is yeah. This is what's funny. I was reading, and actually, maybe this may not even be right. Let's see, what was it? Uh, let's see, maybe it was make. Yes, there you go. So it's sort of like a yeah. weird. Uh, like and, and granted, it's I think uh, you know because of just the early, um, like this is still I think in, in a beta in a sense you know that, that some of these things are being uh, made to work and this is I guess make is sort of their um, I, I guess kind of their place for beta software or trying things out right and so here's where the uh, where the web browser is let's just see just for shits and giggles how it works um, it looks like I, it's loading up reasonably fast I can think of a uh, nice ni so, nice. Nice uh, Soviet propaganda-based artwork there. That's great. Yeah, you know, it's, this does have a very <laughs> the people's console. Um, so let's see here. I can I can point you to the original pieces of uh, Soviet artwork that that was uh, inspired and based, based upon. Of, uh, yeah. So yeah, I, I gotta be honest. The uh, the uh, spot for um, touch sensitivity on here is not quite as good as I would have. Hoped for personally, it's it does yeah. seem a little more um, compressed. I don't know. It's a very small space to try to make yes. much happen in. Um, like it's a very pretty like Google a Google logo though, and I know it sounds silly, but that actually looks, it does it looks great on that it TV. Looks and it's better graphic, like it looks like it's a higher resolution version of it, not just a do Epic Battle X. Okay. But, you know, why did we have to choose such a long fucking name? <laughs> It seemed like I mean, such a great. I, I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> Gave up on the touch <laughs> control. <laughs> it'll come up after that. It's always, it's always. As soon as you get the epic B, it, it, okay. it'll. Now, how, okay, I guess I'm just gonna go up here. Well, yeah, you can use the. You can probably use the trigger, but I, I, I wonder uh, if you could use the trigger buttons to uh, go down. No. Oh no, you suck! You well, fuck! You're the one. You fucked it up. Jackass. Her life was in our hands. <laughs> They're gonna kill that poor woman. Okay. You got it. Hang out. I'm also just kind of curious to see how our website looks on this on this browser. Yeah. Huh? Pretty much looks like our website. <laughs> so, so at least it's, it's what, what web standards are up, you know. Yeah, I guess. Um, Thank God our logo doesn't take 25 seconds to. <laughs> It's uh, so so. It's interesting. Uh, you want you want maybe maybe talk yeah. a little bit about kind of final impression. I mean, not final impressions. Yeah, but like our, just our, first our impressions. Initial, yeah, first impressions. impressions yeah. Okay, so my first impressions are uh, work in progress. Uh, uh, very definitely, and and I so, do think maybe that's the you, you you would really behoove yourselves to to think of it in that terms because I think if you tried to look at it as like I, I think a lot of people did they thought you know we'll boot it up it'll be rooted immediately and you'll have all these or you know yep. emulators and whatnot 
I'm not saying that that may not happen. I mean, hell, you know, yeah. I, I think that there's um, there's definitely something to be said for kind of keeping your your expectations uh, proper with it initially, because I think you'll have a lot better experience at it. Right. I I I've got to be honest. I dig it. I I I would say that like it's a device that I think if you are into like frankly to be honest, with you, I, I sort of think where Brent came from, where which is supporting a product to come out it's kind of similar like i bought a gp2x wiz which is like a, yeah. a, a real you know it, it never ended up you know getting the kind of development that i sort of hoped it would um but for the couple of things that it that it runs real well i, I use it for all the time the genesis emulator on it i use all, literally all the time yep. um but there's not much else you know so i i definitely see a future for it and i think as it gets better and better um it, it'll be just become more and more popular, but um, I, I gotta, you know, actually, I would almost wonder how. Well, maybe for another time, I think. But I would like trying another controller on it, like right. a PS3 or Xbox controller, because from what I understand, they both can be made to to work with it, um, with with what it's built in. Like it's not too tricky, although I don't know how to do it. And I'd be interested if, like, say we played that that racing game and played it with both controllers to see, see how it feels. Yeah. Um, and if it's exactly the same, then we know it's really not a shortcoming of the controller, um, but a just shortcoming of kind of the, the programming in the game or whatever. Um, it, it I, I will be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed by the touchpad. Yeah. It's a much smaller area of movement. Um, and granted, smaller experience. I'm sure once you get used to it, it you you probably can t- you know dial your down your what your expectation of sensitivity in or something but it it does seem one it's just physically smaller than i guess i kind of expected not one because it's not even just the area you see but it's even smaller than that um i don't know visually i actually think it looks pretty good i mean it ran ran the the two games we saw very good it looks um it looks nice i think the interface is is pretty polished for the early state that it's in i do think that it could really use from uh I I almost think that they should open it up, like like root it. Like I almost think they should just leave yeah. it open. And and maybe maybe that is. I'm not sure exactly how the development is going on it right now. But uh, I I think it could really benefit from just letting as many people as humanly possible um, get in there and and, and you know, work on it. So right. Um, All right. Yeah. So. What I as I as I said that you know the kind that's of great. That tirade, so I think uh, in all honesty. Uh, I think work in progress is, is is the way that I, I would I would deem it right now. It does not feel to me like a like a complete product yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it feels like um, it feels like I suppose in, in in a way exactly what it is, which is a console that is brand new and trying to do things in, in a very different fashion. And, and I mean, you, despite all you know the joking about uh, about you know the communist imagery and all that, I love the idea. That this is a console that uh, was was built essentially by, uh, you know, gamers who just believed that having a you know another alternative in the marketplace was a really great idea and invested their own cash yeah. to help make it happen. I, I love that as an idea. So the sort of the philosophy of the system and the story of how it came about, I'm very very enamored of. I'm very very happy to have one, and very excited to uh, see what else happens with it. I agree with you on the controller. Uh, I don't love the controller as much as I as I hoped I would. I hoped that I'd pull it out and say, "Man, this is like one of the best controllers I've ever held in my life." It feels great, like in terms of the shape of the controller, holding it in your hand, it's very very great. But the the responsiveness of uh, of the buttons is is not exactly what I would hope for. I did have a problem with one of the buttons depressing it, and it actually got caught under the um, under the, uh, the the casing. Cover, so, yeah. Um, and so that you know is kind of an issue. Um, the D-pad is not as um, the D-pad's not as great as as I would have hoped. I was hoping it was going to have a really spectacular D-pad. And you know, admittedly, and, as as revisions come along, you that's, know, that's, that's the thing. As they tweak software, you know, they might be able to to adjust some of those things. And the I, I still sticks, go though, back to the whole. Just real quick, too. Yeah, I, I, I go back to the whole thing. Like if if you can use other controllers with this. It really sort of, in my opinion, changes quite a lot because, I mean, it's you minus the touchpad, which admittedly I, I don't think the implementation of it's the greatest anyway, you know. like Although, uh, again, that's something that could be improved. It, yeah, that's true, true. But uh, 
the the analog sticks actually feel really good. Yeah. Um, so I'm impressed with that with that part of it. And as as I said, like just holding the controller is very comfortable. So that's all good. Um, the two games that we played uh, are, I mean, they are exactly like. Uh, games that you would play on your mobile device, like on your your iPhone or your Android phone or whatever, um, they're very very similar to that. So I think for me, I am most excited by the prospect of seeing other kind of games come into this. You know, Final Fantasy three. I don't I don't know how much it costs. I should have checked. I think it's kind of expensive, like silly wise. Like I mean, like, like thirty, like twenty five, thirty bucks. 25, 30 bucks I, maybe yeah. I could be wrong, and maybe it's changed, but it's just more expensive than I would think. You know, I would like to I I would like to see more games like that. Uh, come along. I'd like to see, and I know that that's what the people who made the Ouya want. Also, they want it to to be a more traditional console. But it is nice that they can draw upon, you know, the Android library. You know, like de- developers who have developed games for Android. It's nice that they can go ahead and have some uh, some titles there for people to check out. But um, I feel right now that it is um, it is definitely something that is it is in it's in its infancy. It's coming along still. And I'm kind of excited to see to see it grow and to see what happens with it. A um, little disappointed by the control pad, and I would say a little bit uh, a little bit disappointed by the. Um, well, I, actually, that, that kind of goes back to the control pad too. I was going to say just the responsiveness of the interface. Uh, the interface, and this you know this is the same thing. And I know that I'll get shit from like Android people who say that I, I shouldn't worry about this, but. Uh, if you've ever used an iOS device and an Android device like side by side, there is a fluidity to the iOS device that most Android, maybe the latest ones. I, I it, it, it's definitely gotten better over the years, but but honestly, I still think that there's on almost any iOS device you go to, it's it's much more smoother, even on yeah. the older devices. Whereas it's kind of like you you. But anyway, it, it's it, there's sort of a, a a like when you say with a web browser, you take your finger and you just flick the page up. Yeah. There's just this very smooth, you know, movement. Whereas on, you know, on Android browsers, sometimes it's a little bit of lag, a little bit of jitter. Yeah. The, the, there's there's a there's a fluidity to that experience, uh, to the responsiveness of the interface that I, I really really like. You, you get that like you know in the PSN store. Um, X, I used to. I, well, you you used to. That's actually one of the one of the things I do like about PSN, or used to like about PSN over Xbox Live, is that I thought the interface was uh, a bit more responsive. The the interface, like just in the menus and the UI, is not as responsive as what I would uh, what I would like to see it. And, but again, those are things that can be improved in time. And and I sort of think the back end uh, too, because like I mean, I got, got to be honest. I mean, you're not you're running. You know, pretty high speed cable that we're we're at now, and I mean we've yep. we've played games and stuff, and I, and I've seen you know the interface speed on most other things is is very fast, and here it was pretty slow to load up, it just was. just like the initial graphics. Just, just and, the graphics. and and I, let's be honest, with you, it took how downloaded. long did it how long did it take to download? I mean, what was it a ninety megabyte? I mean, a ninety yeah. megabyte file you download on your PC is in literally no time a, a minute. Maybe you know, yeah, like I mean, or two not minutes. I mean, so it, it's not not long at all. And you know, we sat here for a, a not insignificant amount of time waiting no, I mean, for it. It was probably ten minutes. Um, so I don't know. I, I I definitely I really like where the potential is for it. Now I do have a question for you because this is something that I just sort of I, I sort of had thought about once before, and it just kind of came more to light just just now as we were sitting here. So what? What is the benefit of, say, having something like the Ouya mm-hmm. and versus you, you have an Apple TV as well? Taking your, your iPad and just doing screen share up on the screen and playing that same game. I would actually, you know, it might be at some point, it, maybe not tonight. The, the controller. I mean, the controller is the only thing that I can I can think of. Well, and, and there are ways to get the controller. I mean, and I you can get you, Bluetooth controllers for for the. You know. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, one of the Kickstarter projects that I backed that didn't come out was uh, was the Evolution controllers, and I just got an email from them like yesterday or today saying that, like their web store is now open. Like despite the fact they didn't make their Kickstarter funding, mm-hmm. they generated sort of enough interest that they were ab- actually firm, able to get else. you know like a capital firm to yeah, back yeah. them. And uh, yeah, or a venture capital cool. firm, and they like they're selling their controllers right now. Oh, very cool! Very uh, cool. Which is very cool. I, I thought they had a good design and and a lot of clever things about it. Yeah, it's very portable. It's like something yeah. you could like fit in a pocket or like you know throw in a backpack very sure. easily. That you know, you, I think you hit on it though. Is the the thing that the yeah was really the the thing we really liked the idea is like 
playing all these because because the quality of of gaming on portable devices has gone it's great through the roof. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, in in a, in a few short years, went from the like most basic of basic cell phone gaming type things right. to frankly games that that rival console quality graphics and, and oh, yeah. gameplay. I mean, you know, there, there's still probably some depth and things like that, but that's really probably just because people don't want to make games that'll take forever to download on a, you know, a, a cell phone connection. So, but yeah, you're definitely seeing, you're definitely seeing developers like really, really in taking advantage of the medium. Yeah. And not just sort of making bubble popping games. You're that... drunk. I just want to point this out. <laughs> I mean, you're hiccuping. I, I mean, I'm just saying. That's you're... right. No, I'm just playing. So, well, uh, so, uh, you know, I think it's definitely, uh, very cool, and I got to be honest with you. It's after playing it, it, it's it's a little closer to I think what what I think what I kind of expected. How, how how do you feel in terms of your expectations versus where you are now? Well, I kept my expectations very very uh, very very humble. Okay, I kept my expectations very very reasonable. I knew that when I, and especially given the fact that the official launch isn't for a few more weeks. Yeah. I, I actually kind of, I, I'll be curious to see if anything changes significantly between now and then. It would be interesting to see if maybe there's like a fairly major like update right before. Yeah, I'd know. be curious to know if that was the case. But I did not expect too much. I expected that there would be some games. I figured they'd pretty much be the games that we saw. Yeah. So I have to say that in terms of what I expected out of this, I got a, pretty much exactly what I had in mind, Very which cool. was, you know, a handful of, of games. Most of them are going to be smaller you know, not necessarily you know great titles, but just you know things that uh, that I'd be able to play and to uh, to get a little fun with. And honestly, if I'm really honest with myself, this is not too dissimilar from the experience I had, say, when the PlayStation Two came out. And you know, I got my PlayStation Two. Uh, I, I bought it at like 7:30 a.m. the morning that it came out, and we we went to Blockbuster and we rented like one copy of like every freaking launch title they had. And we sat down and played through all of them, and and it was it was very similar in the sense that there wasn't a lot of depth there. I mean, it was things like you know Midnight Club Street Racing and uh, and stuff like that. I mean, like at the time, about the only like really great games for it SSX. Was, was SSX. And then we also ended up playing a lot of uh, the Madden game, the Madden yeah. NFL game that was out. But that was the thing, you know, it, it was it was a very similar situation that there were a bunch of launch titles that were very forgettable yeah. and and not especially. Uh, not especially exciting. So, in that sense, it, it, it does kind of mirror like other console launches. Um, so, I think that keeping in mind the fact that this is a launch console and that every console at launch tends to, you know, have tends its growing to, pain, tends to have, uh, you know, kind of boring games and, you know, interface issues and all that, it's kind of in line with where it needs to be. A little disappointed by the controller. Uh, but definitely feel like the menu responsiveness and some of those issues can be solved in, in future software updates. Yeah. But the, the, the one thing that I would say that I would end on that, that is very positive is that in terms of like a Kickstarter project, this is the first thing that, this is the, the first thing that I've backed on Kickstarter that was like a physical product as opposed to like a game or something like that. I backed it on Kickstarter and now here we are less than a year later and it's sitting in my living room doing what they said it was going to do, which is, you know, be an Android-based gaming console. And I think that that is amazing. I mean, the fact that there was this idea to do this gaming console, some people had taken it as far as they could, they needed more money, and, you know, so many people came together to, uh, to make it happen, and now here it is, it has happened. We've given them the canvas to paint on, we've given them the tools, and now it's sort of up to those creative minds, the developers, the people who are actually working on this console, as well as game developers who they're trying to... Uh, encouraged to work on it it's up to those people now to create content for this and I hope that there will be enough of a, enough of an initial bit of excitement to, uh, to to get it to get it moving to, to get some momentum going because I do think that there's a place for this I mean right now it's sitting on top of my Nintendo Wii which I essentially bought really I mean like I, we we sold the old white Wii of course I made a video about that uh, <laughs> We sold the white Wii, and I actually replaced it with the black Wii, and the only thing I have ever played on that is virtual console titles. Yeah. I have never played an actual Wii title on that particular Very console. System. So the fact that the Ouya is sitting on top of that console is rather interesting in the sense that I hope that this console will kind of become my go-to for a, a particular style of game, like a, maybe more like retro, more simple style game. Something that I do tend to play right now, like on my iPhone, 
but where now I have the option to sit here on the couch, play it with a controller on the TV, and have that console gaming experience with that style of game, which you don't find all that often on the PS3 or on the 360. Yeah. So, as of right now, I'm happy that I backed it, I'm happy to have it, and I'm excited to see what happens between now and, say, Christmas uh, with the Ouya. So... We started the evening as an unboxing video, and we basically turned into hang out with Brent and Tony and play the UEI a little bit. We had a good time. Absolutely. Uh, we hope uh, that you had a good time, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Epic Battle Cry, which I guess will be next week. Ah. Squish your head. Squish your head. Ah. Ah. It's only 11.30. Yeah, so. so I kept my, my brightness low. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's. Um, I, I think that there's um, there's definitely something to be said for kind of keeping your your expectations uh, proper with it initially because I think you'll have a lot better experience at it. Right. I I I've got to be honest. I dig it. I I I would say that like it's a device that I think if you are into like frankly to be honest, with you, I, I sort of think where Brent came from, where which is supporting a product to come out. It's kind of similar, like I, I bought a GP2X Wiz, which is like a, yeah. a, a real, you know, it, it never ended up, you know, getting the kind of development that I sort of hoped it would. Um, but for the couple of things that it, that it runs real well, I, I use it for all the time. The Genesis emulator on it, I use all, literally all the time. Yep. Um, but there's not much else, you know. So I, I definitely see a future for it, and I think as it gets better and better, um, it, it'll be just become more and more popular, but um, I, I gotta, you know, actually, I would almost wonder how. Well, maybe for another time, I think, but I would like trying another controller on it, like right. a PS3 or Xbox controller, because from what I understand, they both can be made to to work with it, um, with with what it's built in. Like it's not too tricky, although I don't know how to do it. And I'd be interested if, like, say we played that that racing game and played it with both controllers to see, see how it feels. Yeah. Um, and if it's exactly the same, then we know it's really not a shortcoming of the controller, um, but a just shortcoming of kind of the, the programming in the game or whatever. Um, it, it, I, I will be honest with you. I'm a little disappointed by the touchpad. Yeah. It's a much smaller area of movement. Um, and granted, smaller experience. I'm sure once you get used to it, it you you probably can t- you know dial your down your what your expectation of sensitivity in or something, but it it does seem one it's just physically smaller than I guess I kind of expected. Not one because it's not even just the area you see, but it's even smaller than that. Um, I don't know. Visually, I actually think it looks pretty good. I mean, it ran ran the the two games I saw very good. It looks um, it looks nice. I think the interface is is pretty polished for the early state that it's in. I do think that it could really use from uh, I, I almost think that they should open it up, like like root it. Like I almost think they should just leave yeah. it open. And, and maybe maybe that is. I'm not sure exactly how the development is going on it right now. But uh, I, I think it could really benefit from just letting as many people as humanly possible um, get in there and, and, and you know, work on it. So. Right. Um, All right. Yeah. So... What I as I as I said that you know the kind that's of that's great. That so I think uh, in all honesty. Uh, I think work in progress is, is, is the way that I, I would I would deem it right now. It does not feel to me like a like a complete product yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it feels like um, it feels like I suppose in, in in a way exactly what it is, which is a console that is brand new and trying to do things in, in a very different fashion. And, and I mean, you just despite all you know the joking about uh, about you know the communist imagery and all that, I love the idea. That this is a console that uh, was was built essentially by uh, you know gamers who just believed that having a you know another alternative in the marketplace was a really great idea and invested their own cash yeah. to help make it happen. I, I love that as an idea. So the sort of the philosophy of the system and the story of how it came about, I'm very very enamored of. I'm very very happy to have one, and very excited to uh, see what else happens with it. I agree with you on the controller. Uh, I don't love the controller as much as I as I hoped I would. I hoped that I'd pull it out and say, "Man, this is like one of the best controllers I've ever held in my life." It feels great, like in terms of the shape of the controller, holding it in your hand, it's very very great. But the the responsiveness of uh, of the buttons is is not exactly what I would hope for. 
I did have a problem with one of the buttons depressing it, and it actually got caught under the um, under the uh, the, the casing. Or so, yeah. um, and so that you know is kind of an issue. Um, the D pad is not as um, the D pad's not as great as as I would have hoped. I was hoping it was going to have a really spectacular D pad. And you know, admittedly, and, in, as as revisions come along, you that's, know, that's, that's the thing. As they tweak software, you know. They might be able to to adjust some of those things. And the I, I still sticks, go though, back to the whole. Just real quick, too. Yeah. I, I, I go back to the whole thing. Like if if you can use other controllers with this, it really sort of, in my opinion, changes quite a lot. Because I mean, it's you minus the touchpad, which admittedly I, I don't think the implementation of it's the greatest anyway. You know, like although uh, again, that's something that could be improved. It, yeah, it's true. True. But. Uh, the the analog sticks actually feel really good. Yeah. Um, so I'm impressed with that with that part of it. And as as I said, like just holding the controller is very comfortable. So that's all good. Um, the two games that we played uh, are, I mean, they are exactly like uh, games that you would play on your mobile device, like on your your iPhone or your Android phone or whatever. Um, they're very very similar to that. So I think for me. I am most excited by the prospect of seeing other kind of games come into this. You know, Final Fantasy three. I don't. I don't know how much it costs. I should have checked. I think it's kind of expensive, like silly wise. Like I mean, like, like thirty, like twenty five, thirty bucks. 25, 30 bucks. I, maybe, I could be wrong, and maybe it's changed, but it's just more expensive than I would think. You know, I would like to. I, I would like to see more games like that uh, come along. I, I'd like to see. And I know that that's what the people who made the Ouya want also. They want it to, to be a more traditional console. But it is nice that they can draw upon, you know, the Android library. You know, like deve- developers who have developed games for Android. It's nice that they can go ahead and have some uh, some titles there for people to check out. But um, I feel right now that it is um, it is definitely something that is it is in it's in its infancy. It's coming along still. And I'm kind of excited to see to see it grow and to see what happens with it. A um, little disappointed by the control pad, and I would say a little bit uh, a little bit disappointed by the. Um, well, I, actually, that, that kind of goes back to the control pad too. I was going to say just the responsiveness of the interface. Uh, the interface, and this you know this is the same thing. And I know that I'll get shit from like Android people who say that I, I shouldn't worry about this, but. Uh, if you've ever used an iOS device and an Android device, like side by side, there is a fluidity to the iOS device that most Android, maybe the latest ones. I, I it, it, it's definitely gotten better over the years, but but honestly, I still think that there's on almost any iOS device you go to, it's it's much more smoother, even on yeah. the older devices. Whereas it's kind of like you you. But anyway, it, it's it's there's sort of a, a a like when you say with a web browser, you take your finger and you just flick the page up. Yeah. There's just this very smooth, you know, movement. Whereas on, you know, on the, Android browsers, sometimes it's a little bit of lag, a little uh, bit of jitter. Yeah. The, the, there's there's a there's a fluidity to that experience, uh, to the responsiveness of the interface that I, I really really like. You, you get that like you know in the PSN store. Um, X, you used to. I, well, you you used to. That's actually one of the one of the things I do like about PSN, or used to like about PSN over Xbox Live, is that I thought the interface was uh, a bit more responsive. The the interface, like just in the menus and the UI, is not as responsive as what I would uh, what I would like to see it. And, but again, those are things that can be improved in time. And and I sort of think the back end uh, too, because like I mean, I got got to be honest. I mean, you're not you're running you know, pretty high speed cable that we're, we're at now. And I mean, we've, yep. we've played games and stuff and I, and I've seen, you know, the interface speed on most of the things is, is very fast. And here it was pretty slow to load up it just, was. just like the initial graphics. Just, just and, the graphics. and I, let's be honest the, with you, it took, how downloaded. long did it, how long did it take to download? I mean, what was it? A 90 megabyte. I mean, a 90 yeah. megabyte file you down on your PC is in literally no time, a, a minute. Maybe you know, yeah, like I mean, or two yeah. minutes. I mean, so it, it's not not long at all. And you know, we sat here for a, a not insignificant amount of time waiting no, I mean, for it. It was probably ten minutes. Um, so I don't know. I, I I definitely I really like where the potential is for it. Now I do have a question for you because this is something that I just sort of I, I sort of had thought about once before, and it just kind of came more to light just just now as we were sitting here. So what? What is the benefit of, say, having something like the Ouya and versus you, you have an Apple TV as well, taking I, your, I your iPad and just doing screen share up on the screen 
and playing that same game. I would actually, you know, it might be at some point, it, maybe not tonight. The, the controller. I mean, the controller is the only thing that I can I can think of. Well, and, and there are ways to get the controller. I mean, and I you can get Bluetooth controllers for for the. You know. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, one of the Kickstarter projects that I backed that didn't come out was uh, was the Evolution controllers, and I just got an email from them like yesterday or today. Saying that, like their web store is now open, like despite the fact they didn't make their Kickstarter funding, mm-hmm. they generated sort of enough interest that they were Some actually firm, able to get else. you know like a capital firm to yeah, back yeah. them, and uh, or a venture capital cool. firm, and they like they're selling their controllers right now. Oh, very cool, very uh, cool. which is very cool. I thought they had a good design and and a lot of clever things about it. Yeah, it's very portable. It's like something yeah. you could like fit in a pocket or like you know throw in a backpack very sure. easily. That you know, you, I think you hit on it though. Is the, the thing that the Ouya was really the the thing we really liked the idea is like playing all these because because the quality of of gaming on portable devices has gone it's great through the roof. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, in, in a in a few short years, went from the like most basic of basic cell phone gaming type things right. to frankly games that that rival console quality graphics and, and oh, yeah. gameplay. I mean, you know, I've, there there's still probably some depth and things like that, but that's really probably just because. People don't want to make games that'll take forever to download on a you know a, a cell phone connection. So, but yeah, you're definitely seeing you're definitely seeing developers like really really in taking advantage of the medium. Yeah, and not just sort of making bubble popping games. You're that... drunk. I just want to point this out. <laughs> I mean, you're I hiccuping. Am. I mean, I'm just saying. You're... That's right. No, I'm just playing. Well, so, uh, so uh, you know, I think it's definitely very cool. And I got to be honest with you, it's after playing it, it it's it's. A little closer to I think what what I think what I kind of expected. How, how how do you feel in terms of your expectations versus where you are now? Well, I kept my expectations very very uh, very very humble. Okay. I kept my expectations very very reasonable. I knew that when I and especially given the fact that the official launch isn't for a few more weeks. Yeah. I I actually kind of I'll be curious to see if anything changes significantly between now and then. It would be interesting to see if maybe there's like a fairly major like update right before. Yeah, I'd know. be curious to know if that was the case. But I did not expect too much. I expected that there would be some games. I figured they'd pretty much be the games that we saw. Yeah. So I have to say that in terms of what I expected out of this, I got a, pretty much exactly what I had in mind, Very which cool. was, you know, a handful of, of games. Most of them are going to be smaller, you know, not necessarily, you know, great titles, but just, you know, things that uh, that I'd be able to play and to, uh, to get a little fun with. And honestly, if I'm really honest with myself, this is not too dissimilar from... The experience I had, say, when the PlayStation Two came out, and you know, I got my PlayStation Two. Uh, I, I bought it at like seven thirty a.m. the morning that it came out, and we we went to Blockbuster and we rented like one copy of like every freaking launch title they had, and we sat down and played through all of them. And and it was it was very similar in the sense that there wasn't a lot of depth there. I mean, it was things like you know Midnight Club Street Racing and uh, and stuff like that. I mean, like at the time. About the only like really great games for it was SSX. was SSX, and then we also ended up playing a lot of uh, the Madden game, the Madden yeah. NFL game that was out. But that was the thing, you know, it, it was it was a very similar situation that there were a bunch of launch titles that were very forgettable yeah. and and not especially uh, not especially exciting. So, in that sense, it, it it does kind of mirror like other console launches. Um, so I think that keeping in mind. The fact that this is a launch console and that every console at launch tends to, you know, have tends, to, pains. tends to have, uh, you know, kind of boring games and, you know, interface issues and all that, it's kind of in line with where it needs to be. A little disappointed by the controller, uh, but definitely feel like the menu responsiveness and some of those issues can be solved in, in future software it, updates. Yeah. But the, the, the one thing that I would say that I would end on that, that is very positive is that in terms of like a Kickstarter project, this is the first thing that this is the the first thing that I backed on Kickstarter that was like a physical product as opposed to like a game or something like that. I backed it on Kickstarter, and now here we are, less than a year later, and it's sitting in my living room doing what they said it was going to do, which is you know be an Android based gaming console. And I think that that is amazing. I mean, the fact that there was this idea to do this gaming console, some people had taken it as far as they could, they needed more money. And, you know, so many people came together to, uh, to make it happen, and now here it is, it has happened. We've given them the canvas to paint on, we've given them the tools, and now it's sort of up to those creative minds, the developers, the people who are actually working on this console, as well as game developers who they're trying to uh, encourage to work on it. It's up to those people now to create content for this, 
and I hope that there will be enough of a, enough of an initial bit of excitement to uh, to to get it to get it moving to to get some momentum going because I do think that there's a place for this. I mean, right now it's sitting on top of my Nintendo Wii, which I essentially bought. Really, I mean, like I, we we sold the old white Wii. Of course, I made a video about that. Uh, <laughs> we sold the white Wii, and I actually replaced it with the black Wii. And the only thing I have ever played on that is Virtual Console titles. Yeah. I have never played an actual Wii title on that particular Very console. system. So the fact that the Uya is sitting on top of that console is rather interesting, in the sense that I hope that this console will kind of become my go-to for. A, a particular style of game, like a, maybe more like retro, more simple style game. Something that I do tend to play right now, like on my iPhone, but where now I have the option to sit here on the couch, play it with a controller on the TV, and have that console gaming experience with that style of game, which you don't find all that often on the PS3 or on the 360. Yeah. So, as of right now, I'm happy that I backed it, I'm happy to have it, and I'm excited to see what happens between now and, say, Christmas. Uh, with the Ouya. So, we started the evening as an unboxing video, and we basically turned into hang out with Brent and Tony and play the Ouya a little bit. We had a good time. Absolutely. Uh, we hope uh, that you had a good time, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Epic Battle Cry, which I guess will be next week. Ah. Ah. Squishy head. Squishy head. Ah. 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 So, I was in Lowe's today, right?